Dean's got the floor now. Sure. Two minutes. Well, anyway. We'd just like to thank the County Veterans Service Offices, the service officers and their staff. And we got a couple of people from the 10% Club. Tom, up front, please. Before I left Tom, the service. Up front. And then we want to present a couple of plans. And um, due to some miscommunications. And then uh, Andy, I'm up front. We're going to give another award to, to a very uh, special person. And uh, you should just know that these offices, I think I can it. Oh my God. Uh, these offices do, do so much work. I want to give one good example, and George, I wish you'd hear this. But George, um, I know of a person, he happened to be my father, and the Chippewa County Veterans Office, uh, Veteran Service Officer, uh, my father had no medical records, no service records other than a discharge paper. He's only in the military for three and a half months. Injured his, his uh, foot, and we had a, a doctor that said that the, the break appeared to be at least 50 years old. My father had two brothers and a sister write a statement that he was discharged during the Battle of the Bulge in World War II. Okay. Discharged because of his foot. And the, the doctor said it appears that the foot was injured at least 50 years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, my father got 20% disability backdated several years. Thank you. God bless you, Mike. And, and then, after he passes away, two months after he passes away, he was upgraded to 30% because of conjunctive secondary and peripheral conditions. I mean, that is unbelievable. Then you got people like this that can't, they can't get their records, uh, and uh, it's hard to get their claims through, their purple hearts and whatever. But the 210%, and by the way, uh, Dennis. Yep, right here. Um, okay, we want you up front. Dennis is uh, video recording this, and he might put it on Facebook, and he's the publisher of the Fog Line, which has not been published for a few years, but it might be coming back about veterans entitlements benefits. But um, we'd like that Cliff and Mike come back up front, and we're going to present you this. And um, and uh, I'm going to read this, and then Andy Muni, Andy, where's Andy? Um, okay, right here. Andy has a distinction. We thought we should recognize a couple other veterans. I'm going to recognize George Stanton. You've heard him. He took nine minutes to speak, so he took my time. But anyways, um, uh, we, we want to give him one of these. But this is called the Unsung Hero Character of the Charisma Award. And you are going to get one. Andy's going to get one. And by the way, if you know any, get a little closer here for the camera, please. Andy, up front. Um, Andy, by the way has done over 2,500 funerals. We're trying to get that exact count. For 32 or 33 years, he's been doing 80 funerals and military honor functions a year. 80 times 32 or 33, figure it out, or more. We're trying to get that. We're going to give Andy one of these. We're going to get the Chippewa County Veterans Service Officer, the Eau Claire County Veterans Service Officer, George. And the 210% Club is here. And I'm going to read. Everybody's going to get this. The Unsung Hero, the Character of the Charisma Award, presented to Chippewa County, Eau Claire County, George Stanick and Annie Muni. Your outstanding contributions, brilliant career, career, and stellar achievements are a shining example that empowers. Your humility shines forth with contagious enthusiasm and refreshing optimism. By pursuing every resource and leaving no stone unturned in helping others, you help them discover hidden resources and harness unlimited potential. You shine, S-H-Z-I-N-E. Your contributions to serving others inspires all of us. May you have continued to have hunger and heart, fire and ability, and souls absolutely on fire. On fire. And by the way, Representative Rob Krymick is part of this committee. And Bill Bottoms and um, Tom Neuenfeld and um, Dennis Wood. So we'd like to present this to you. And some miscommunication, there's no frame on it. <laughs> but maybe you can find a frame somewhere. And um, George and um, Andy, here, we did have one frame, but okay, I want you to all, because of the, the, how many funerals have you done? Oh, no, I don't. <clears throat> the 24, 2500, we're trying to figure it out. And I want you to do something really special. I want you to get on your feet and to give me a standing ovation. And really let it come from the heart. And think of all the people they've helped over the years. And if they don't have the staff to do it, how can they do a good job? 
I mean, they need staff, and they, the, these people and their staff are just stellar, they're outstanding. They work, and you don't know how many hours a week Cliff and Mike are on the road. They go to meetings and evenings and weekends out of the area. They serve this country. And by the way, just was it, you were the, the chairman of all the county veteran service officers? President. President. I mean, ah, give a standing ovation. Come on. There you go.